He barked at me to place the ultrasound probe on the patient's pelvis so he wouldn't perforate her uterus. Still confused about the procedure, I did as he asked and realized the woman was pregnant. She was in her second trimester, so I easily determined the gender of her baby, a little girl. Stunned, I watched the doctor thrust a catheter into the amniotic sac. The fetus dodged the catheter and tried to hide in the top of her mother's uterus to get away. In horror, I watched as he inserted a forceps clamp and grabbed her tiny leg. She writhed around in pain, trying to break free, but there was nowhere for her to go. Then the doctor pulled hard until her leg ripped away from her body. She recoiled and violently twisted around in pain and curled herself into a tight ball. But it was no use. The clamp grabbed her arm and she struggled to pull away. Her movements weakened now because she was dying. He pulled her arm off of her body. My vision blurred. My eyes filled with tears. The child again curled herself into a tight ball, but again, the device grabbed her other leg and it was ripped from her body. By now, her heartbeat had slowed significantly, but she was still alive. The clamp grabbed her last limb and ripped it off. She wiggled and squirmed around, and then her heart finally stopped beating. I announced that there was no more cardiac activity. The nurse and scrub tech in the room gasped, realizing for the first time that this was happening to a fetus that was still alive. The remaining body parts, the head and torso, were removed. Placenta was removed, and a final look with ultrasound revealed all products of conception were removed. 